Iris Recognition System Using the Bohr Filters and Wavelets in MATLAB Iris Pattern Recognition is an automated method of biometric identification that uses mathematical pattern recognition techniques on images of one or both of the irises of an individual's eyes, whose complex random patterns are unique, stable, and can be seen from some distance. Iris recognition uses video camera technology with subtle near-infrared illumination to acquire images of the detail-rich, intricate structures of the iris which are visible externally. This study aims to design, construct and test an iris recognition system that can lead to an automatic filling in of health form monitoring for the employee at the Tanawan City College. And specifically, it seeks to design an iris recognition simulation that can determine the person's iris with his slash her information form the recorded data. To apply the Gabor filter and wavelets to have an accurate recognition of iris using MATLAB to provide an application from this iris recognition system for the Tanau and City College as preparation for upcoming face-to-face -face classes for the employees' attendance and for their daily health monitoring. As it's seen on the figure, is the block diagram of the system. It start from the image acquisition or image capture that serve as an input of the system, then it will process and extract to the DWT, discrete wavelet transform, feature that transform, image to wavelength. After its transformation, it will segment it and localize the iris that had captured from the input, then it will find its matching iris with its corresponding information from the database. After recognition the output will be the person's information with his slasher temperature and time in. To extract features, Gabor filters are utilized. Gabor filters are good bandpass filters for one-dimensional signals because their frequency and orientation representations are comparable to those of the human visual system. Gabor wavelets are wavelets invented by Dennis Gabor using complex functions constructed to serve as a basis for Fourier transforms in information theory applications. Here is the formula of a complex Gabor function in space domain, where Sx, Y, is a complex sinusoid, known as the carrier, and WRX, Y, is a 2D Gaussian shaped function, known as the envelope. They have a lot in common with Gabor filters. The wavelet's most essential attribute is that it reduces the product of its duration in standard deviations. The difference between iris representations is done by computing their Hamming distance using the XOR operator. Below is the truth table. The distance is calculated as the number of bits of value 1 in the XOR result of the given two binary strings. This is the definition of the Hamming distance. For instance, if we consider two 8-bits vectors R and S, the distance between them will be the equals I, R S. Where is the XOR operator and I is the function to calculate number of bits whose value is 1 in the binary XOR result. The mathematical algorithms allow the unique identification of a person by encoding digital templates from the iris patterns. The first step in the iris recognition process is image acquisition. This method is based on the user's liveness qualities, which indicate whether or not the user is extant. The color image is transformed first to a grayscale image, which implies the color image's brightness is turned to a gray shade. Iris recognition starts with isolating the actual iris region in a digitized eye image. The distribution of gray level values in an image is represented by the gray level and histogram. A typical technique for improving the appearance of a poorly contrasted photograph is histogram equalization. Computing the probability and cumulative density function, calculating the number of pixels for each color, producing the total of the count, and then scaling the findings is how histogram equalization is done. Cropping, resizing, and segmentation are the system's processing of ocular images. Using one or more texture analysis algorithms, the feature extraction function extracts features from the cropped image. Digital photographs are vulnerable to a wide range of sounds. Noise is caused by defects in the picture acquisition process, which cause pixel values to differ from the true intensities of the real scene. To blur images and remove noise, the Gaussian smoothing filter is applied. It has the effect of lowering the high-frequency components of the image. Canny and Sobel edge detection are used to locate the iris boundary. Canny smooths the image by convolving it with the Gaussian derivative. Sobel demonstrates superior and more precise edges. 
In a horizontal or vertical direction, the Sobel operator employs the image with a separable and integer valued filter. After that, gamma correction and hysteresis thresholding are applied to the image. The Huff's transform for circle detection is applied to the resulting image, yielding nothing but the iris outer boundary. The normalizing procedure creates iris areas with the same constant dimensions, resulting in distinctive features at the same spatial location and two images of the same iris taken under different conditions. The goal of iris normalization is to obtain the same region of the iris to match regardless of pupil dilation produced by various levels of illumination or iris size induced by the distance between the eye and the video zoom factor. A matching metric system will be required for the template generated during the feature encoding process, which provides a measure of similarity between two iris templates. When comparing templates generated from the same eye, known as intra-class comparisons, this metric system should provide one set of values, and another set of values when comparing templates created from other irises, known as interclass comparison. These two scenarios should yield distinct and distinct values, allowing a confident determination of whether two templates are from the same iris or two different irises.